Hey everybody. Uh, day three of the So I Remember project. Uh, so I'm doing this once again so that I remember every single day. Um, right now my cat is crying because he wants me to feed him so this is going to be a short one. Um, and you'll hear cat meows and I promise I'm feeding him as soon as I'm done with this. For those of you that are thinking I'm endangering animals or something. Anyway, so today um, was Tuesday, June 5th. I think it's the 5th. It's not the 5th and I'm confused. Um, but, and if it's not the 5th, then I'm not on the right day. But anyway, so today I um, went to work, slept really well the night before actually, compared to most nights, which is nice. Um, let's see, went to work, like I said, sorry that I repeat myself, that's why I'm doing this, so I don't do that anymore. Um, work was good, um, talked with a lot of interesting people on the phones, very good people. Um, lunch was not necessarily healthy, but I did have a strawberry smoothie, which is better than soda, not much better in some respects, but oh well. Um, it was rainy and then it was sunny, which was pretty cool. I like rain and sun, but I prefer sun to be at the end of the day. And it was, so that's nice. Sorry, my glasses keep falling down. I need to get that fixed. Um, I got some more notices of possible collections for medical bills, which is always fun. Not so much. Um, and it makes me kind of annoyed because, uh, long story short, they should have used insurance that they never did, and now they're mad at me for not paying when I'm mad at them for not doing that. Anyway, one thing's been weighing on my mind all day today. Um, I spoke with some friends a few days ago um, about burnout, and it's not that I don't trust their judgment in some things, but they think I'm burned out from a certain part of ministry in my church, and I'm not so sure that that's true. I don't think that they're wrong that I need some time off, um, because I do a lot, and I don't really ever have a vacation, ever. I don't think I've gone anywhere since 2003, and that was seven years ago, so I should probably do something fun. Um, but I think there's a good deal of difference between burnout and stress. I don't think I don't have the same... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't think I don't have the same passion for helping in that area of ministry. I just think I'm super tired <laughs> because I'm not used to working 40-hour weeks, and I'm doing that now. And I'm not used to trying to make sure that I go to sleep at a regular time, and when I don't, I'm just sleepy. And um, because I have sleep apnea, I don't sleep well anyway, and so that kind of adds to it. So I've been trying to go to bed at earlier times, but I don't think I'm necessarily burned out. I think I am trying to figure out what ministry is my biggest passion, um, but I don't think that any of the ones that I'm helping with currently I don't have a solid passion for it. I also think, um, and I'm not blaming anyone, it's probably me and my, um, because of my health stuff, I think is messing up my concentration. And so I'm not able to remember things, which is why I'm doing this. And so I think that's become a factor within um, trying to remember the things that I need to do and then not having the communication or not remembering the communication between me and those people, and therefore they think I'm burned out when really I just forgot. Um, <laughs> and I think it's just a simple problem of forgetting things. Um, but it has weighed on me a lot this today, um, wondering if they're right or if it's just stress, or I think it's more just stress and health stuff interfering with what I like to do. Um, and it kind of hurt my feelings to be told that they know the signs of burnout and they uh, are able to tell. Um, I'm sure they do. I don't doubt that they're trying to help me. Um, and I think the time off will be nice 
but it kind of feels like mandatory time off, not like I chose to take the time off. And so that kind of rubs me the wrong way. Um, I don't like being told that I need to step back. And granted, that's probably something I need to work on too. But I, I wish it was my choice. And in some respects, I feel like I can't do that. Um, but that's because I'm worried that they'll be out of person and need someone to fill in that gap. But we're trying to figure out um, ways that I can have time off I think, and have somebody fill in, in that gap so that there isn't. It's not that I don't think anyone else couldn't handle it, um, but I do really like what I do and I like it to be professional. And then I just worry that whoever steps in, it's not going to be the same level of professional, but that doesn't necessarily always matter. Um, as long as it gets done, <laughs> usually that's good enough. Um, and, and God will um, give them the amount of professionalism or skill in order to get it done, and I need to not worry about that. Um, and, and, and I do get a little worried that I need to be there, but not in the sense of everything will cave in if I'm not there. My church has changed a lot, a lot, um, in the past few months, and, um, I think part of it is I don't necessarily always agree with their decisions, um, but I'm not, to be honest, my view of church is not, you have to agree with everything that's going on in a church in order to help it. Um, I'm just there to help the kids and to let them know that God loves them and I love them and, and not in a weird way, um, <laughs> just to let them know that there's somebody out there that cares when they think that nobody else does, because I know I've needed that a lot of my life, and I think it's been um, through church and community that people have shown me that. Um, anyway, I'm way over my time limit that I usually set for myself, so my apologies, <laughs> and the cat is like, seriously, feed me. So I'm going to go, but that's really what I've been thinking about a lot lately today. Um, I just don't think, it feels more like a mandatory timeout then uh, here we want you to have this time to reflect and to think and to it feels like they don't think I have a passion for the ministry and maybe that's not what they meant when they were trying to help me out and I'm taking it the wrong way but that's what it feels like today and so I'm trying to pray and make sure that my goals and my passions are aligned with what God wants me to do and also pray um, that I just figure out which is my biggest passion and what I can do really well. Sometimes I get scared of being passionate about something because I'm afraid I'll fail at it and everybody will laugh at me. And that's kind of silly. Um, but I also felt a little bit today like they... And, and I know they mean well. I know they want to help me and I know they're worried about me because I talked with them about um, wanting to take a step back this year and make sure that I was... Um, giving myself time to find energy, um, find a source uh, where I can worship God and not uh, have it be every place that I'm volunteering instead. But I still felt a little bit like I was being treated like a child. And that's that's all perceived. It may not have been in any way how they meant to make me feel. Um, so I'm praying that I will get over that feeling. Um, and yeah a lot's been on my mind lately um focusing on work has helped because it's not focusing on this and the indecision that i always seem to fall into um, but yeah i'm trying my best to figure out what i want to do uh, and figure out where my biggest passion lies and really i just want people to love each other and uh, it's going to be silly that I get teary-eyed at that, but I'm tired of people hating each other. And I'm tired of people not caring about people that have nothing and need something. And nobody's willing to take the reins and help. And I don't think no one is, but it's, it's just hard. Um, <laughs> and anyway, I, I work at a place that enables me to see the good side of, of the world, and that's wonderful and uh, that has helped a ton.
um, and also having chapel and devotions day. But anyway, now that this has been 10 minutes, I'm going to make it so you don't have to listen to me anymore. So I'm going to go feed the cat, um, and I need to eat dinner because I haven't done that, and I played the piano a little bit, and yeah, that's pretty much things today. Uh, thanks for listening, uh, and I appreciate any views or any info or contributions or comments or whatever um, that you want to give um, on the subject. Um, I would appreciate no religion is bad comments. Um, you don't have to agree with religion or church or anything. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just wondering if sometimes people are mistaken when they think you're burned out when you're passionate about something. Maybe it's just stress and you're tired and outside stuff in life is just coming up that's making it hard for you to focus. So, um, that's my rant for today. Thanks.